This is John the Dragon Moreno, and you're watching 8 Count Boxing Hour on Channel 27. It'll put punch in your life. Hi, I'm Daniel Cisneros. This is the George Foreman Tommy Morrison fight, and you're watching the 8 Count Boxing Hour on Channel 27. Okay, we're here in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada for the Tommy the Duke Morrison and George Foreman heavyweight fight. That's for the WBO title. And uh, as you can see behind me, we've got the media city set up here. This is the, the whole world of media is here in town for this fight. It's, it's a big event. George Foreman is a, a favorite of the boxing world and Tommy the Duke Morrison kind of the X factor after his fight with Ray Mercer. Uh, he had a little bit of trouble with Joe Hip and Carl the Truth Williams gave him a tough time. So uh, it's, this is definitely a test for Tommy the Duke Morrison. George Foreman is more of a known quantity, although his age always makes him a little bit of the X Factor. That makes this fight a lot of fun. And uh, my son and I, Daniel Jr., the sixth grade boxing analyst, and yours truly, Dan Cisneros, the 8-count boxing hour, will be in attendance, and we will definitely give you reports on what it was like to be here at the Tommy the Duke Morrison George Foreman fight at Thomas and Mack in Las Vegas, Nevada, on the 8-count boxing hour. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of the Las Vegas Hilton, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with stars and bars, weighing in at 226 pounds, this knockout artist has a professional record of 36 victories with 32 KOs against only one defeat. He comes here tonight from Kansas City. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the number two ranked heavyweight in the world, Tommy the Duke Morrison. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks and weighing in at 256 pounds. We have the 1968 Olympic gold medalist, who now as a professional is 72 and 3 with 67 KOs, which is the greatest knockout ratio in heavyweight history. Ladies and gentlemen, from Houston, Texas, presenting the former heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you, the winner of this bout will be the WBO World Heavyweight Champion. We go to the scorecards. Dalby Shirley and Patricia Jarman both score the bout 117 to 110. Jerry Roth scores the bout 118 to 109 for the winner and new champion, Tommy the Duke Morrison. We went out there, uh, basically our game plan was to keep the jab in his face and, and not, uh, not try to go to the one punch stuff. Try to lead with uh, a good jab, lead with speed and follow with power and a lot of head movement and we stuck to the plan and it won it for us. I have did a lot of tactical uh, good fighting in the gym but I've never been able to make the transition. This was a, uh, a level of competition that was much higher than we're used to. Someone that punched a lot harder than, uh, than we're used to so we were very cautious and I think uh, subconsciously we stuck to our game plan a lot better than we ever had and it won the fight for us. You know, I told my mother and even my wife, I went as far as telling my mother this time, look she told me it was 1965 she didn't want me to be a football player for. And then she didn't want me to be a boxer. Now I'm going to obey my mama. <laughs> the only way I do come back, it'll be 10 years later when I come back. I want to be about 60. I can really show these whippersnappers something then. 
<laughs> nah, you know, this is, I told you this was the final uh, uh, front, frontier for George Foreman. I'm moving on into eating chicken and hot dogs right now. But I want you to give me a good farewell with some beautiful words. If I'm for the winner and new champion, Tommy.